Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sab. So today in this video, I will be focusing on total derivatives, right? So what are basically total derivatives? Now, when we are having an increment in a function, that means a, suppose a function is having variables more than one, right? And we have to calculate what is the total variation in the function. That means there will be some increment in x, there will be some increment in y. And how do we say that what is the variation? So what is the variation basically? If we have to write dz, that what is the change in z? It is basically the change in the function with respect to x, delta x, or you can say that the change is dx, right? Plus the function has a change increment with respect to y and with respect to the variable y, right? So this is what is the total derivative. So similarly, if there are more than two variables, right? suppose there is one more variable here, so we will add that component also. So this is known as the total differentiation, right? So this is what is written here, that if delta x and delta y are the increments in x and y, and delta z be the corresponding increment in z, then the total derivative dz is del f by del x into dx plus del f by del y into dx, right? And dz is called the total differential of z, right? So now, let us relate this concept with the tree diagram that I told you in the composite functions. So let me just explain it with the help of the tree diagram and it will become very simple. Now look here. What is given to us that z is a function of x as well as y, right? And then further it is given that x and y are functions of t. So immediately I can say that z is a composite function of t, right? So for the time being, if I don't look at the intermediate variables, right? So what is happening? Z is a function of t. So if you remember in the first video lecture of partial differentiation, I told you the difference between d and del, right? d is total derivative and delta is partial derivative. So d is used when we have a function only with respect to one variable and we are taking the derivative with respect to it. And the symbol partial is used when we have a function of more than two variables. We are taking derivative with respect to one variable and the other variables are kept constant, right? So if anybody tells you that if z is a composite function of t, what is the derivative of z with respect to t? So you can see that z is only dependent on one variable, right? So obviously, you will be calculating dz by dt, right? <coughs> now, what is the method? How will you take the derivative of z with respect to t? You have to come through two channels. Either you will take the derivative of z with respect to x and x with respect to t, or you will take the derivative of z with respect to y and y with respect to t, right? Now, let's go by the first channel. When you are taking the derivative of z with respect to x, z was also dependent on y. That means z is a function of more than two variables. So, which derivative will you write here? You will write here del z by del x, right? But now when I take the derivative with respect to t, what is happening? x is only dependent on t. So if x is dependent on t, that means x is only depending on one variable. So when I take the derivative with respect to t, I will get a total derivative that is dx by t. Isn't it? Plus, now the same thing. Again, let's take the other channel when z is being taken the derivative with respect to y. When you are taking z derivative with respect to y, z was also dependent on x. That means now you will keep x constant. So which type of derivative will you get? You will get del z by del y. And the second one, now we have to take the derivative of y with respect to t. So y is only dependent on the variable t. So we will take the derivative dy by d. Right? So you don't have to mug up any formulas. You just make the tree diagram and see that which function is dependent on which variables, right? If there are more than one, use partial symbol. If there is only one, use a total derivative, right? So from here, we get the value of dz by dt as the same that I've just explained, right? So dz by dt is called the total differential coefficient of done. 
So I hope this concept is clear to everyone. Done. <clears throat> so now let's move on to another concept. So here again, let's draw the tree diagram and let's see what is happening here. Now here you can see that Z is a function dependent on X and Y. And further, X is dependent on U as well as V, right? And Y is also dependent on U as well as V, right? So now the intermediate variables are X and Y. So just for the time being, if I forget about X and Y, I can say Z is a composite function of U and V, right? So that means either I can take the derivative of Z with respect to U or Z with respect to V. So that means which symbol will I be using? Del Z by del U because when you take the derivative of Z with respect to U, you will automatically keep Y constant, right? And similarly, when you take the derivative of Z with respect to V, you will keep U constant. So partial symbols are used, right? Now, how is this differentiation being done? When you have to take the derivative of Z with respect to U, what is the channel? You take the derivative of Z with respect to X and then X with respect to U or Z with respect to Y and Y with respect to U. So we have del Z by del, del X because X and Y both are there. And then similarly, X with respect to U, right? And the second channel would be del Z by del Y and then del Y by del U, right? Now let's move for the second one. Then you have to take the derivative of Z with respect to V. Now for V, what is the channel again? Again, it is Z with respect to X and X with respect to V. And in both the steps, you can see that the function is dependent on more than one variable. So we have del Z by del X and del x by del v plus del z by del y and del y by del v, right? So these are the next two formulas that you get when a function z is a composite function of two variables, that is u and v, right? And you don't have to remember any of these formulas. Just draw the tree diagram and from there, you can automatically derive these formulas. Right. Okay. So I think I made it clear. And now let's move on to an example. U is x cube plus y cube and x is a cos t and y is t sin t. The question is that you need to find d u by u. Right. So if I draw the tree diagram, u is dependent on x as well as y. Right. What are X and Y dependent on? X and Y are dependent on T. So when I have to calculate DU by DT, what should be your formula then? It should be del U by del X multiplied by DX by DT plus del U by del Y into DY by DT. Right? And now you just need to plug in the values. If U is x cube plus y cube, del u by del x would be 3x squared. dx by dt would be minus a sine t. Del u by del y would be 3y squared. And dy by dt would be b cos t, right? And finally, in place of x and y, you can substitute the values in terms of t. And that would give rise to your answer, right? So these are very simple questions. Only this tree should be very clear in your mind, right? There is one more example. Now this is a function of more than two or more than one variable. So z is f of x, y. x is e raised to power u cos v and y is e raised to power u sine v. And we have to calculate y times del z by del u plus x times del z by del v is e raised to power 2u into del z by del y. Right? So let's take up the left hand side and let's calculate all these derivatives. That is del z by del u and del z by del v. So according to the chain rule, so if I draw the diagram here, z is dependent on x, z is dependent on y, x and y are both dependent on u and v, right? <coughs> so del z by del u would be del z by del x into del x by del u plus del z by del v into del y by. It's del z by del y. It's not v. 
del z by del y into del y by del z, right? So you can see that z is not given, so we will keep z, del z by del x as it is. Del x by del u is e raised to power u cos t, and del z by del y is e raised to power u sin t, right? So now from here, you can see that this is x, so I have replaced it with x del z by del x, and this is y. So this is y del z by del y. Likewise, you, uh, okay, another thing you can see that in the expression, del z by del u has been multiplied by y. So we multiply it with y and we get this expression. In the next step, we will calculate del z by del v and we will multiply it with x. Right, let me show you. So you can see that we have calculated del z by del v using the definition of total derivative. We have multiplied it with x. And then when we add these two equations, the middle term that is containing x, y get cancelled. And we have x square plus y square into del z by del y. And when we substitute x and y, the values in terms of q and v, we get this expression. You can easily see that e raised to power q, u can be taken out common. And we are left with sine squared v plus cos square v, which turns out to be 1. And that leads to the right hand side. Right? Okay. So now, I've given you certain questions to practice. So, do practice these questions. So, you can see that in every video of mine, I give you a couple of questions to practice. So, that you get a very uh, thorough practice of, there is an understanding also in the lectures and you get to know the questions. You need to practice those questions so that you are through with that topic, right? So, do let me know if there is any problem in the comment section, right? And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And thank you so much for listening. Those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.